The cost of running the city's parking meter program has led to a multi-million dollar shortfall. So the city wants to look into raising rates for street parking while getting rid of coin-operated meters to lower its own costs. Christy Tomashiro is digging deeper into the shortfall and how it affects you in tonight's I-Team report. Near parks, shopping areas, and everywhere in between, there are 4,000 on-street parking meters stretched across Oahu. Your money goes in, but the city isn't seeing a return in revenue. According to the Department of Transportation Services, the current parking meter program is seeing a nearly $5 million annual net loss. Those funds are subsidized by real property taxes. We want to, at some point, be able to help make this so that the taxpayers are not being the, the ones responsible to foot the bill. According to the city Department of Transportation Services, there are multiple reasons for the multi-million dollar shortfall. So I'm asking the tough questions. What is it doing to improve the system? Maintaining a, an aging system like that uh, isn't an efficient way to do business. DTS says one issue is coin-only meters. There are about 2,000 of them. So coins are very expensive to collect. Staff have to go out and collect at each meter, count them, and then uh, make sure to post those type of revenue. Another issue is outdated parking rates that DTS says have not been increased in several years, along with a lack of parking enforcement. According to DTS, data shows near Ala Moana Center and Keomoku, there are many people parking, but only a few are paying. Now, a $4 million project is underway to upgrade all meters to help fix that. With the new meters, they'll have sensors that are looking 24-7, 365. So we'll be able to see in real time, both us and the customers will be able to see in real time what spaces are occupied versus compared to uh, who's actually paying. Uh, and so that's something that helped with targeted enforcement. Digging deeper, I found that despite the costly operations of collecting coins, DTS is required to continue to accept them, but the department wants to go coinless in the future. I don't carry much coins in my car, and a lot of times I feel the convenience on my end is credit cards or debit cards. And we want to make sure to be sensitive to the cost. Uh, this is all uh, you know, being paid for by the citizens, and so if we can do it in a more efficient way, we want to make sure we can do that. DTS says the upgrades to all meters will be done by the end of the year. Chrissy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.